What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and people said they'd be cool with some Code Vein. So I'm really excited to play this. So I haven't actually finished many games recently, if we're being honest. Like I buy a, more games than I should. I'm going to change an audio setting because I, I tested audio. I think I got it right. Um, so yeah, I'm going to turn everything up to 50, 100. Make sure that's saved. Yeah, so, I mean, I buy a bunch of games. I bought Borderlands 3, which I love Borderlands. I haven't bought the stupid Diamond Collector's Edition. I haven't even played it. So, clearly, you know, I haven't been doing anything. I bought Monster Hunter World Iceborne, okay? And I left it in my car. So, like, this thing got destroyed. It sat in my car until, like, two days ago when I finally took it out. But, but, we are going to play through Code Vein. I'm going to play the whole entire thing, and we're going to upload it. So, we'll take days off from this to upload um, Black Desert and stuff. But overall, I'm going to try to make this every day. Good morning. Good morning. Hey. hey, can you hear me? Think back. Search your memory for an image of yourself. So, we're going to do this first episode. I'll make any adjustments to the audio as we go. I always listen to the videos to make sure they sound good. And so give me one episode, we'll get the audio perfect. So I'm going to see if I can get this. So I would love to, because we, we always have that, that Witcher. It's 1 to 16. And then Codename Siri. This work? Is it one? See, if it's one per one person can have one name, one code name. Okay, no, we don't. Okay, so we can create the character now. I will try to not make this take forever. You guys know how character creation goes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, 11. Let's try that. Skin, pink, brown, vivid brown. This is, this is a lot of options. You can make your character like a blue. Oh my gosh. This is a lot of customization options. Uh, okay, we're gonna go. I'm not trying to make her like exactly look like Siri. That's like not the actual goal here, but that's just like the name that I always take. Kind of like that hairstyle. It's just a flipped. Oh no, wait, there's a braid in this one. Is there, oh, it's just a flip. That's kind of interesting. I do like that. I wish they could have added a few more hairstyles. But I do like how they give you, like, the flipped option. Because, like, because I... It's weird. Because I'm left-handed, like, I drag my hair over this way. And, like, when I actually put gel in my hair and stuff like that to do my hair to go out, like, it flows to the left because that's how I drag my hand. But if you're right-handed, if I was right-handed, i drag it to the right. But... So it's kind of cool they give you the option to choose which styled hair you want i kind of like the original style if we're being honest the one that they start you with which is i don't know is what's the one they start you with hold up is it like not here that is some long hair i don't even see the initial hairstyle they start you with do you have to actually customize it to get hold on like i don't see that hair oh no it's right there I kind of like this hairstyle the most. I think I like it. Hmm. I'm assuming this is third person, so I'm going to see the hairstyle. I want it on the left side. I want it on the left side. Base color. Could make it white. Man, this is customization. This is kind of insane. What is white with the extensions being black look like? Ooh, I kind of like that. It's not really white. I mean, it's white, but it doesn't feel white. Look at all... Oh my gosh, the character customization. This is insane. I kind of want... I kind of like that. Blue with a black tip at the end. Kind of like that. You can change this. I think I like it at 50. I suppose... Oh, okay. Uh, let's try 70. Let's go 70. Face. 
So far, the uh, I like the original one better. Yeah, I like the base one the best. Eyes. I'm giving myself like 10 or 12 minutes on this. I'm not taking forever. Um, I kind of like these like crazy eyes. Like that. Huh. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take my time, I'm gonna figure this out. It'll probably only take me like another 10 minutes because I don't like to spend forever on this, but I'm gonna skip ahead here. I'll get my character done and then we'll go over the character. Sound good? See you guys in a second. Alright, we're back and uh, after way too long of creating my character, like between watching a little bit of baseball and doing my character, it took like 25 minutes. I am not gonna lie. It took a really long time. Um, so we'll go over this real quick. So you guys saw the physique. I did 11. Um, I think 11 is where I like it. Skin, it's in the vid, whatever that vivid brown is. Hair, we did all of this stuff. Eyes, or no wait, this is face. We went the first one. And then eyes, that's where I left you. So I did the same two eyes, but I did different colors. So this is like a magenta with, they both have this uh, blood, dark bloodshot look. So I really like that, the two eye colors. Eyebrows, pretty easy. Makeup, I pretty much just left this relatively the same. There's a different stuff that you can do here, and you can get into some crazy stuff. Which I actually thought about doing this one, but then I just decided to leave it normal, because I like it normal better. No scars, no face paint, accessories. I had a necklace here, but I got rid of it. So we have a key necklace, which looks really awkward, but I think it'll look better in game. We got a pair of earrings on, and we have these, like, arm things. I don't know. I think they'll be cool. I don't know. Maybe they won't be. Clothing, I went with this. The clothing options, there's not a whole lot. I'm assuming there will be more in-game, but I could be wrong. It was between this one, which I really like. Um, I really like the base one they give you, and then I really like this one as well. Uh, so I went with that one since it's not the base. There's also, like, this t-shirt and miniskirt. There's whatever this is. There's like this, and there's this, and whatever the heck this is. But yeah, we're going with that one because I like it. I didn't get the exact colors that I wanted here, but they're close enough, so that's what we're rolling with. Our purifier mask is this. Uh, the options are decent, but we're going with that one. Mask frame, I went with the one that goes down the full neck, which I like. Uh, the other ones are, are, are like a little simple. I like that one if I didn't take the one that covers the whole neck, but I like the one that kind of goes down all the way. And we went with this voice. You'll have to teach me that trick. That's the voice we went with. So <laughs> now we can go ahead and confirm and get into this. So we're all good. We can start this up yeah, finally. That's what you look like. Now, now we, can we can finally, finally meet. meet. Turn my own volume up a little bit here. Well, I didn't know I was going to have this, like, overcloak over my shoulder, so I like these armband things a little bit less because of that, but that's all right. Let's go ahead and talk. We finally meet. Are you clear-headed? You will now be reborn as an immortal creature, a revenant. There are things you will need to know in your new life, so listen well. Each revenant has a different power coursing through their veins, called a blood code. The best way to learn about it is to try it for yourself. Okay, so this is what I wanted. I wanted the HUD, because now we can move around my camera here and position it better. Um, so I'll cut it real quick here. We'll be back in just a second, and I'll have the camera in a better position for you guys. Okay, so we may scrap the overlay in a later episode, because it really is designed to be at the bottom of the screen, but it's whatever. Let's go ahead and see here so we have different skills with right trigger whatever this is um down on the d-pad uses whatever that is uh open the field menu 
So these are quick use options. Use open the field menu. Okay, so Revenant possesses special willpower. Blah, blah, blah. Special powers known as blood codes. Depending on the specific blood code, a Revenant stats will differ. To view these stats, like the currently equipped blood code on the main menu screen. So. How do I do this? I'm assuming it's this. So we're overweight right now. And, okay, so that's our stats. Looks kind of similar to a uh, Dark Souls stats type of thing, which is nice, because I'm used to that. Which I know this is made by Bandai Namco, so, you know, makes sense. But, okay. So is there something specific it wants me to do here? I don't get how I'm overweight. I, like, don't have any, I don't have that much stuff on. What is it wanting me to do here? Okay, is that just not going to pop away, I guess? Okay, I'm just going to rest here and we'll go. I'm assuming... Oh, hold on. Okay, what is it wanting me to look at here? It wants... I thought this would be it. Like, the stats? Because it's talking about... It's talking about... To view and select currently equipped blood code. Currently equipped blood code. This is, oh, here we go. I got it. I got it. Okay. So you just click on your fighter, and you can see your blood code. Okay. That is a fighter blood code, which is excellent for combat. Each talent that a blood code bestows is known as a gift. The fighter blood code grants ever-increasing endurance. It seems you also have a gift that temporarily enhances your attack power. Try it out. By temporarily... So it wants me adrenaline. Very well. Give it a try. Okay, so right trigger and A. Yes, that will do. Be warned. The effects of a gift will not work unless it is prepared in advance. I forgot something important. You will need special blood to activate gifts. This blood comes from revenants who have forgotten themselves and turned into monsters. The lost. Those are the basics of a fighter's gifts. Use and learn each of them well. So that would be the um, 16 out of 16 in the back. So you lock on with right click. But I probably will play unlocked. B is roll, which is nice. So these are essentially Dark Souls controls, except X and Y opposed to RB and RT. Can I change that? Hold on. So, settings, control settings. What is RB? Oh, that open... Uh, okay, so that's kind of hard. I could probably... I would much prefer... Hmm. And eh, that's probably how I need to leave it. What other game uses X and Y? Because Dark Souls uses... I'm so used to RBRT. I think I'm going to change it. I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to change it. Because we can change the dash combo to Y. And we can change this... Oh. Oh, you can't change that. Hmm. So, strong attack could be X. Weak attack could be RB. Okay. I think... Yeah, I think that that works better for me. I don't know what the dash combos are. Oh, ooh. I know I'm practicing on this on... Hmm. So this is a timing thing? Okay, I don't know. Okay, well, let's just fight this thing. So LB is block, so that's good. Switch weapons, bring out the hammer. Okay, so you can hit enemies while they're down. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Fuck. Probably just gonna be dodging mostly. That would be my assumption. But I gotta get I gotta get used to this. I haven't played Dark Souls in forever, so not for well it's been like a while since I played Dark Souls, so I had to get Well done. Ordinarily a revenant has only one blood code. 
but you are different. The blood code you once held was broken and has vanished. That has left you with infinite possibilities. You have the unique talent to change your blood code. Come, look deep within yourself. Okay, so Ranger. Uh, this code excels at providing support and defense buffs with gifts. Okay. So, can I... Okay, so we have Fighter, which Fighter boosts endurance for melee combat, raises ability based, abilities based on strength and dex. This is a defense buff, but what kind of defense buff does it give? I am not seeing the benefits of using this at all. That looks like trash. I don't want to use that. Why? I don't want to use this. This looks like it's garbage. Can I go? That blood coat is known as Ranger. Oh dear. That weapon seems to be too heavy for you. Rangers are nimble and best at fighting with light weaponry. Try switching to a bayonet. Why don't I get rid of this weapon for the bayonet? Queen Slayer's bayonet. Yes, that's much better, isn't it? Oh, firing your bayonet requires Icor as well. That and gifts means Icor always seems scant. That is where the blood veil you have equipped comes in. Using your blood veil will let you quickly drain Icor from the lost. In addition, this can increase the amount of Icor you can hold. If you have a chance to drain Icor from a foe, use it. So you hold. Wait. Get behind an enemy. Okay. Hold A to drain. What the? Hello? See, so charge this. Huh? See. Oh, do I have to be locked on? Is it gonna make you lock on to do this? Yeah. Okay, so that drains I core. Y plus A. Oh, uh, is it different because I have this as different buttons? Yeah, I have it as different buttons, so it's... Wait, why is it like that? I don't really know what I did there. Did I back attack or did I do... I think I did the back attack. Because I was trying to do... I was trying to do the combo, not the back attack, but that, you know... That sums up the Ranger Blood Code and Drain Ring. Let us try one more Blood Code. Now, turn your gaze inward. Caster. That can be used from a distance. Okay. Wait, so does this bayonet not shoot? No, it does shoot. Ooh, that's kind of fun. That's kind of a fun, fun thing. Okay, Caster. Like, some of these just look like they're straight. That is what is called the Caster Blood Code. Casters possess powers like magic from a fairy tale. With it, you can use gifts to fire projectiles of blood. Do I need a better... Do I need a different... No, no, different weapon? I keep using those things by accident. I want to switch weapons, which is up. Can we change that control? Control settings... I want the item to be up and the weapon to be down because I keep hitting down to switch weapons. So I feel like that would be better. Okay. So hold and then. Nice. You learn quickly. Hmm. Bloodshot favors range over power. Let's see. Try learning another gift. You can learn gifts by touching missiles. Try it yourself. Reset missile. So this is like a bonfire. Acquire and inherit gifts. So it's going to force me to learn. Yeah, it's going to force me to learn this blazing roar. Okay, you discovered a gift's latent potential. Once you become fully proficient with a gift, you will unlock the ability to inherit it. That wasn't hard, was it? Now since you've learned it, why not try it out? Okay, so now we need to equip it. So equip it like that. Okay. Blazing Roar is a powerful 
gift that punishes foes. However, its cost in Icor is high, so be careful that you use it at the right time. In addition, its power will change. Blood Veils have different affinities for gifts. It can be complicated, but keep it in mind. Okay. So. I mean, that's not bad. It takes a really long time to it takes a really long time to use that. Yeah, that one sucks. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, that one kinda sucks. You like have to be locked on for that. Which I don't like being locked on because it restricts your movement. I always like to be free cam because it allows you to kinda use your movement, get out of it. Excellent work. It's all quite sudden, but you picked it up, right? The disappearance of your blood code has left you with unique, limitless capabilities. Not only can you change blood codes, but you can acquire new ones as well. The strength of others can become your own, a talent that you alone possess. Since you are the only one who can do this, your blood is the only teacher you have. I will give him this. Now, awaken and save the world. I will give him this. That is a pretty detailed and pretty good intro. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty good for an intro. Um, for a tutorial intro. Um, obviously, probably could be a little bit more combat practice. I kind of wish there was a little bit more combat practice there for the amount of stuff that they do for you there. I kind of wish that there was some combat practice, but that's just me. Uh, I'm sure we'll get... Uh, plenty of combat practice here. Welcome back. Hello. How are you feeling? Don't worry. It's okay. I don't remember either. Over there. So I'm wondering if we're going to have a, if she's going to be a co-op, like, I don't know, like not a co-op, but like a, yeah, I guess I would call it co-op or like companion, or if she's going to be like, it's dry, isn't it? Or if she's going to be like the Herald. Oh. We can go slowly. I am here with you. The Herald, the chicken, I don't even know her name in Dark Souls 3. The one that levels you up in Dark Souls. Just a bit farther. Don't know if she's going to be like them or if she's going to be like a companion. Because We're all right. either would make sense. A spring will slake our thirst. <laughs> Why do we walk so slow? I had been waiting for such a... We don't even get all the dialogue. We walk so slow, but they paste the dialogue that you don't get it all. That was really weird. It seems everyone, everywhere, is thirsty. There is a spring that will cure that thirst. One that weeps tears of blood.
That's what they said, anyway. This way. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. So, it is you. <laughs> Here, this is for you. A new spring and a fresh source of labor. Ha <laughs> We really hit the jackpot. Get up. It's time for a bit of fun. down. Your friend just fell asleep. Okay, we can't move around. I was like, are we going to be able to move? Okay, so this is interesting. We're in like an encampment here. So we can pick up a mask. Let's talk to some people, see see what's going on. I want to take my time with this game. I think I'm going to really enjoy it, so I don't want to rush anything. So we're going to talk to people. So, what happened to your masks? Oh, hold on. There's, like, dialogue. Back there and put on a purifier mask. There's, like, dialogue options. All right, so let's talk to this lady over here. The view never improves, does it? came back home after the war against the queen and found this mist. Getting close to it causes enough pain to drive you mad, so no one has ever crossed it. There's nowhere to go home to, even outside of this prison. The view never okay, improves, okay. does it? Her dialogue stay the same. All right, don't feel like listening to him slurp. Wandering, they say, the folks up there. They might live in safety. But because of their levy, we have to risk our necks to collect blood beads. Just you wait. One day, I'm gonna make thralls out of the whole lot. Are you going to kill me too? Anything for a kick, right? Just don't crush my heart. Stop already. My body may still be alive, but my soul died long ago. No one... And really, he had... Are you going to kill me? Stop. No one could stay sane after dying again and again and again and again. Don't take my memories. My family. I have nothing left. There's no way we're going to find blood beads. The missiles all dried up and the miasma keeps getting thicker. Telling us to look for blood beads here is just crazy. And she's asleep. Okay, so let's grab our mask. Number three and four. Two, two. Check your gear and come up. Okay, 
So that means I need to go up. But I think this is a good place to call it for episode one. Uh, in the next one, we'll get into some actual gameplay, I hope. And uh, we'll get it kicked off then. I'll talk about it. I'll talk about a couple things I want to talk about in the start of the next episode. But I will see you all then. Looking really forward to the series. Peace. Cause when it's all over.